Hey everyone, welcome to Making Sense. If you've been here before, thank you so much coming back. I really do appreciate seeing you here. And if this is your first time checking out my channel, welcome aboard. Today, we're gonna to talk about four fragrances that I'll double up on. This was a tag video where I was tagged by Chris from Casual Fragrances. Stay tuned. So as I mentioned, this is gonna be a tag video where I was tagged by Chris over at Casual Fragrances. Chris, thank you so much for the tag. I do appreciate it. And let's dive right into this one. So the first fragrance out of my four fragrances that I've doubled up on and or double up worthy in my opinion is this guy right here. It's Maison Francis Kirchen, Baccarat Rouge 540, and it is the EDP. Now I have both EDP and the Extrait, but to me this fragrance is just a great fragrance in my opinion and it makes a lot of great memories for me. Uh, there's some connections to my son, a couple other different items, and honestly, I just really enjoy the fragrance itself. So once again, my first backup worthy fragrance is MFK Baccarat Rouge 540 EDP. The next one on this list is probably gonna be on a bunch of people's list, you never know. It's an extremely easy to reach fragrance and it's very popular. And it's this one here, Blue de Chanel. In this case, it's the EDT because it's the only one that I've bought more than one bottle of. Uh, I do have behind me here the EDP and the Parfum, but for me, I continually buy a backup and or a secondary bottle of the EDT when I run out. I wear this one a ton. Super easy reach, very nice fragrance. Uh, it's a blue fragrance, probably one of the blue ones that started the whole game behind the world and or the words blue fragrance. And that one more time is Blue de Chanel EDT. My third fragrance on four fragrances to double up on. This is definitely a little different from the other one so far. This one here is a brand from a store and we're gonna talk about Abercrombie & Fitch Woods. Now it's kind of funny because I just talked about this fragrance last night uh, with Joey Cannoli um, over at I Am Joey Cannoli. Uh, what a great thing. If you haven't checked out his channel, check him out. He's awesome, a lot of fun. But uh, <laughs> Abercrombie & Fitch Woods, is a fragrance that brings me back to like high school age, things like that. And I'm not that young, so high school is 20 years ago. I want to say it's uh, 23 or 24 years ago now, which is crazy. Uh, but ultimately, Abercrombie & Fitch Woods, really nice fragrance. Reminds me of, you know, walking by uh, or actually going into the Abercrombie store. And I chose to pick this one up back in the day, so it really was something that I enjoyed. The original Abercrombie fragrance I love as well. I don't have that. If I had that and it wasn't a million dollars to buy online, I would say that one was backup worthy as well. But I love Abercrombie & Fitch Woods. So that's my third one. And my last one I have backup bottles of. I have multiple backup bottles of. I've had about four or five bottles of this uh, over the last 20 years, we'll say, or 18 years or so. And it is my personal number one fragrance in my collection, even though I don't wear it anywhere near enough. And it's this guy right here by the House of Creed, Green Irish Tweed. There's not enough I can say about this fragrance other than the fact that I personally just love this one. This is the first niche fragrance I ever owned. I had picked up a bottle because I heard different things about it online way before Fragcom was even thought of. Um, I just looked at different things, different people that wore it, and some famous person somewhere talked about the brand of Creed. So I started doing some homework into the brand itself and ultimately ended up picking up a bottle of Green Irish Tweed, which became one of those fragrances that when I chose to wear, became a huge compliment getter. Now, it wasn't like I got compliments from every person I walked by or anything like that at all, but what happened was a few key people that I know that I care about their opinion had said that the smell was amazing or what the heck is that? And walked up to me and went for a second smell. So with that being said, of course, Green Irish Tweed became a staple in my collection and is my uh, fourth of my four fragrances to double up on. Now, Chris, thanks so much for absolutely tagging me in this video. I appreciate it. It was a lot of fun picking these four fragrances out. If you haven't already gone over there and uh, checked out Chris's uh, page, Casual Fragrances, I'll put a link down below. And I don't know if anyone else has been tagged. I'm going to ramble off here, but I'll tag a few people. Uh, first person I'll tag is Scott over at 504 Man Reviews. Again, if you haven't checked him out, go check his channel out. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed there, definitely work it. He put, worth it. He puts a lot of great reviews out there. Super nice guy. Uh, we'll do, let's see who else we got here. 
We will do Chris over at Motivated Living, who might already have done this. I'm not sure. But Chris, you're tagged as well. If you haven't jumped on Chris's channel, go ahead and check him out. Subscribe as well. Uh, super nice guy. Definitely worth checking out there. And there's got to be one more here. Ah, Mr. Cheap Sense. We'll go with Keith over at Mr. Cheap Sense. Uh, the other people I thought of, I already saw, were tagged somewhere in this video, at least at one point. So again, for the three of you, if you haven't checked out Keith either, go check him out. Uh, subscribe to his channel if you like what he has. Again, you don't have to forcibly subscribe to anybody if you like what they do. Definitely jump on board. That'd be awesome. They'd appreciate your subscription and your attention to their hard work that they're putting in there. So again, we got Scott at 504 Man Reviews. We have Chris at Motivated Living. And we have Keith over at Mr. Cheap Sense. You have officially been tagged by me. Uh, and if you haven't, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it entertaining, do me a huge favor. Click the like button down below. Uh, if you like the content that I put out here and you want to subscribe, go ahead. Click the subscribe button. And also down in the comment section, probably the most important of all, if you have four fragrances you would keep for life, throw them down there on the list. Let me know which ones you would keep for life uh, or double up on even more important. Um, for me, these four here are definitely staples that I double up on. And I have had, if not currently have, at least two bottles of each of these. Uh, I'd say the one I've had the most of is definitely Green Irish Tweed. And then probably, which is kind of funny, Abercrombie Fitch Woods. But that's because it comes in a smaller size. So throw those comments down below. I really appreciate seeing you here. And remember, if you're making the world a better place, just one spray at a time, then to me, you're just making sense. Until next time.